Hi, my name is Shay Chalmers and my passion is facilitating innovation and opportunities for Australia's manufacturing industry. I'm a mechanical engineer by trade and did both my undergrad and my postgrad here in Brisbane. My career journey has taken me across the world from steel mills in the US to medical device facilities across Asia and Europe. Currently, I'm living in Brisbane, wearing a number of different hats, but they're all centered around supporting the growth of our manufacturing industry here in Australia. One of my roles as Executive Director at QMI Solutions, a not-for-profit, non-member organization who for the last 30 years has been supporting our manufacturing industry to make new possible. In this role, I work with industry and government to design and deliver programs to drive the industry forward. I'm also Director for Strategic Engineering Australia, an engineering consulting company who assists manufacturers to design, optimize and reshore their manufacturing processes. Additionally, I have a number of advisory roles across the country, including for the Queensland Government's Manufacturing Ministerial Council and for QUT and RMIT's advisory groups for both engineering and advanced manufacturing. I'm also a member of the World Economic Forum Expert Network for Advanced Manufacturing. Now, that's enough about me. Let's talk about the industry. Manufacturing in Queensland is embarking on a journey to transition to the global environment of Industry 4.0, the fourth industrial revolution. Our industry has an extremely positive outlook and its diversity contributes significantly to the strength of the Queensland economy. Manufacturing in Queensland is diverse. It touches almost every value chain. Manufacturing covers food, rail, defence, biotech, biomed, heavy vehicles, textile and clothing, marine, mining equipment, just to name a few. Queensland manufacturing consistently contributes $20 billion per year to our economy, and our manufacturers export almost $16 billion worth of products every year. The transition to advanced manufacturing is creating an industry that offers stable, diverse and technology rich careers. In order to realize this vision, a highly skilled manufacturing workforce will be a critical driver of competitiveness for our industry in the future. Australia is teeming with the intellect and the initiative needed to produce high quality products. As the industry transforms, we must collaborate to ensure the pipeline of talent possess the right skills at the right time to meet our industry needs. Part of that collaboration involves industry, government and our educational institutions coming together to create a path forward for tomorrow's workforce. A highly skilled workforce is vital to the future growth of our manufacturing industry. However, the current manner of educating and training is not meeting industry needs. We need lifelong learning and continued worker engagement to support advanced manufacturing. Sounds simple, right? But this is a massive shift for our educational system and requires incredibly strong collaboration with industry to ensure that the training focus is meeting the need. One of the mechanisms we have established to facilitate this collaboration between industry and government is the Queensland Reference Group for Advanced Manufacturing, which I sit on as chair. The QRG informs and provides a structured mechanism for industry, employers, education and training system providers, and government to engage on workforce and skilling issues within the Queensland manufacturing and engineering industries. Our QRG members create an industry-led ecosystem from 16 different manufacturing industries. With the support of the skills and training providers from schools, vocational and tertiary institutions, this influential group assists in reviewing government strategy and guiding future direction. 
QMI also hosts a number of programs in the skills space, including the Gateway to Industry Schools program for advanced manufacturing. Through this program, we have engaged with thousands of students and hundreds of teachers with the sole purpose of building Queensland's manufacturing and engineering workforce of the future. QMI has also developed and executed the Women Who Weld program for high school students, which sparked a 20% rise in female interest into trade pathways. Thanks to the support of Arrow Energy, we are currently developing a new series of advanced manufacturing training and assessment units, which will be rolled out in schools in the Surat Basin. It's important to note that there has been significant investment and research into the skills and workforce needs for advanced manufacturing in Queensland. If you haven't already, I would recommend having a look at the Jobs Queensland report, Advancing Manufacturing Skills which identified 10 key priority action areas. Additionally, the Queensland Skills Implementation Plan for Advanced Manufacturing is also worthwhile reviewing. Just a little plug, on the front page of this plan, you'll notice one of our amazing Women Who Weld participants. Additionally, another key component of the work in this area is the Manufacturing Hub ecosystem in Queensland. I believe these hubs will be a key driver of ensuring we have the skills needed for the future. I know I'm giving you a lot of homework, but if you haven't read the manufacturing hub delivery model already, it's worthwhile having a look at. There are three regional manufacturing hubs located in Townsville, Cairns and Rockhampton. These three regional hubs all have a dedicated skills officer who are working with industry to understand their needs and feed into future strategies. These hubs are all co-located with educational institutions. Additionally, we have two defence hubs located in Ipswich and Townsville who work with the manufacturing hubs. And we also have the ARM hub for advanced robotics and manufacturing located in Brisbane. The ARM hub is a not-for-profit company on a mission to accelerate the industry's uptake of advanced manufacturing technologies. This hub and spoke model ecosystem has attracted global interest and Queensland has been recognised as a global advanced manufacturing hub by the World Economic Forum, a designation that will connect the state's manufacturing sector with a global network of advanced manufacturers, which is pretty exciting. The development and adoption of advanced manufacturing technologies, including robotics and AI, will require a highly skilled workforce. But what does that actually mean in practice? This is the way I see it. Currently, we have a siloed system, a system where there is a fork in the road, which makes our future workforce decide their path at the young age of 12 or 13. They start selecting subjects which push them down one path in the fork without truly understanding what that means. The fork I speak of is the binary decision, tertiary or vocational, professional or trade. This, in my opinion, is one of the core issues we have with our future workforce for advanced manufacturing. This goes against the lifelong learning building blocks approach to skilling. This restricts the pipeline and has resulted in the death of the technician in Australia. I believe we need to turn this education path on its head. Why can't we have a system where people can continue to educate themselves throughout their life if they choose to do so? Why can't our tradespeople leverage their existing expertise to develop additional micro qualifications to become expert technicians? Why does the path to trade fault qualifications differ so much to the path to engineering qualifications? What does it look like in Australia if we have an education pathway which leverages trade to technician to engineer all in one seamless path? The structure of education in parts of Europe actually enables this. In Germany and France, being a technician is a highly valued profession, one which enables the growth of the manufacturing industry and one which I believe is the key to our future success in the technical field. I will leave you with this thought. 
what does our advanced manufacturing industry look like if we have well-trained technicians who can troubleshoot production lines, reprogram robotic solutions to enhance efficiency, a technician who works with the line operators to ensure optimal technical solutions for our staff on the floor. Sounds pretty great to me. Now, let's work together to achieve it.